Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Sagittarius, and this is going to be for the week of the 25th of June to the 1st of July. I will be using my Aphromatus Tarot deck, and to clarify, I will be using Cosmic Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. I know I'm a little late, but I can't control every single thing. It wasn't purposely done, and it was nothing bad that happened. Everything is good. I just had a little too much on my plate this week. But I'm here now. So, Sagittarius, let's see what messages. So Sagittarius, this is for you. The King of Wands. I will say that's you. The Queen of Pentacles. This is an Earth energy in your environment. This could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Or you could be thinking about making some money. Page of Pentacles, you're doing some manifestations. Do it with your heart. Do it with love. The Six of Pentacles, financial, financial balance. The Page of Cups, use your intuition. The Knight of Cups, waiting for something. Seven of Wands, you are above your challenges, never forget that. The Four of Cups. You feel a little upside down emotionally. And the Queen of Swords. This could be an energy in your environment. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. So, Sagittarius, let's see. On top of the King of Wands is the Three of Wands. Making progress, you're patient. Things are working out. But you have something unhealthy in your environment. Do you just think things are working out? And what is this thing that's unhealthy in your environment? This could be anger. This could be jealousy, obsession, lust. It could be addiction any sorts of addiction it could be arguing jealousy anything that's not that is considered dark unhealthy and the world card whatever that energy is or whatever is around you is gonna be removed from you okay you will successfully remove it whatever the negative thing is in your environment you're already working on it you're preparing to remove it so what is that so let's see the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles on top of the queen of pentacles is the four of swords you're talking to someone about it the two of cups 
It says something to do with love. The moon. You starting to see things clearer? You're not being clouded anymore. You're aware of this negative energy in your environment. And you're working on it. You're working to get rid of it. The Page of Pentacles, on top of the Page of Pentacles, is the King of Swords. Now, this could be you thinking of communicating with someone, or you probably already did communicate with them. Or this could be an energy in your, in your environment, probably a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Um, the Hermit and the Chariot, the Hermit. You're going to go within yourself, and you're going to do some soul searching. You're going to find yourself. You got the Chariot. Things are coming in pretty fast. A little rocky, but it's fast. It's coming. And what's coming is financial balance. The Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. That could be an energy in your environment, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. And I will say that's an energy in your environment. Or you're really working on something financial. Okay, because she's the money manager. She's taking care of the money. You know how to do that. That could be you taking care of the money, planning something business-wise. Financial stability coming in fast. However, you got the five of wands here. There's some kind of struggle in your environment. There's back and forth, back and forth, push and pull, tug. Maybe that's what's unhealthy in your environment. You need to start using your intuition. On top of the Page of Cups, there you are, the King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands could also be energy in your environment. That could be uh, you, Sagittarius, uh, Leo, or Aries. But you need to use your intuition. Um, I got the Eight of Wands here. You need to walk away from something. You're in your head a lot about something in the past and you need to walk away from these, um, something that's holding you back, holding on to you. You need to use your intuition. You can clear this up. Whatever it is going on, you can clear up. You can clear up anything in the past. You just have to want to be able to do it. You can heal. On top of the Knight of Cups, whatever it is that you're waiting for, where love is concerned, the universe is building something for you. The Three of Pentacles. The four wands. And the sun. So whatever the universe is building for you, you're going to find stability. You got the four wands and you're going to find happiness and positivity in your environment. You just got to be able to deal with this past situation or the situation that's in your head. I don't know what it is. It could be thoughts. It could be your current situation. It could be the reason the devil showed up. Okay. But you need to start seriously thinking about it and thinking about you in a loving, kind way. The Seven of Wands. On top of the Seven of Wands comes the King of Cups. You could be emotionally stable right now, or that could be an energy in your environment. Uh, a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. And then the Nine of Pentacles, giving birth to your dreams. Now, this could also mean moving into a home, or this could mean coming into some money, or it could even mean pregnancy. Okay? So however it resonates with you. So you are above your challenges. Whatever is happening, you're good. You have a decision to make. I got the two of swords. There is a decision that you need to make. And you're going to feel a little upside down when you make that decision. On top of the four of cups, and it's going to be in your mind. Oh, it's going to give you... It's going to give you a lot of worries and a lot of thoughts. Whatever your decision is going to be, it's going to be like... Uh, but it's going to be some kind of new beginning. Some new beginning that will give you inspiration. And you will find your inner strengths. You will find your inner strength. In the midst of chaos, you will. Just got to believe in yourself, you know, darlings. Really and truly, just start believing in you. 
got the queen of swords here the queen of swords on top of the queen of swords is the lovers this could be a gemini in your environment the death card there's some kind of change where love is concerned where love is coming and the five of swords there's an argument it's going to keep you stuck now the death card is the ending of something and the beginning of something new the ending of something old and the beginning of something new it's going to bring you some hmm. going to have some conflict. There are going to be some lies. I got the seven of swords. But it, at the end of it all, you will find stability. Okay? Whatever your decision is you're going to make, whatever it is that has to do with love or this person, only you know. There's some push and pull and some negativity in your environment. You know what to do. Okay? But you will have balance. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves. And I will chat with you soon. Bye.